What up guys, Jude here. This is a video on how to buy Bitcoin in Nigeria on Binance, step by step in 2022. This can be applied also to buying any other cryptocurrency on Binance. So Binance has over 600 cryptocurrencies listed on it. You can apply this formula to buying any of them. I've been making videos like this, that is videos on how to buy Bitcoin in Nigeria since 2018 and every year I make another one, a new one. I keep making this update because the method may change as it has and the app interface usually changes. So if you are new to this, you get to know how to do it using the newest method. I make it really simple. Just follow along. You get to know how to do it yourself in a few minutes. So what you should do now is to like this video and subscribe if you've not and let us get to it. To buy Bitcoin on Binance from Nigeria, you have to get your Naira into Binance. And you cannot do that through debit card. You can only do that by bank transfer through P2P. The P2P system is efficient and safe because of the escrow system, in this case, the Binance escrow. Now, this is how the P2P works. Let's say I want to buy Bitcoin. I go to Binance P2P and sees Mike who want to sell Bitcoin. Mike's Bitcoin is already on Binance P2P wallets. I'll go ahead and indicate the quantity of Bitcoin I want to buy from Mike. That quantity of Bitcoin will automatically move from Mike's wallet into Binance escrow. In the escrow, Mike cannot withdraw or use the Bitcoin. He can only release it to me. Once in the escrow, I will then transfer the Naira equivalent of that Bitcoin to Mike's bank account and indicate that I have done so by clicking that I have made payments. Once Mike receives the alert, he will click on the release button and the Bitcoin will be released to my Binance P2P wallet. It is that simple. Now, if you're wondering in case uh, Mike received the alert and refuses to release the Bitcoin or I did not send the Naira but indicated that I have made the payment, either of us will click on appeal. This is when the Binance customer support comes in. We would have to submit proof of payment or bank statements as the case may be. The banner support will then release the Bitcoin to the person telling the truth and might ban the dishonest person. That makes sense, right? When making transfer, now listen, this is very important, right? When making transfer, that is bank transfer to the seller for Bitcoin, never include any cryptocurrency related terms in your transaction description. That is where you write what a transfer is meant for. Words such as Bitcoin, USDT, Binance, BNB, and so on. If you do include any of this word, the bank is going to ban your account and the account of the person that received the money. So beware. What you just do, just write here your name. Just write your name in the transaction description, right? Now, let me go to my phone and show you how to do this. So guys, uh, let's go ahead and use the P2P platform on Binance. Now, the first thing you have to do is to go and create a Binance account. Now, if you look in the description box of this video, there is a link for you to create a Binance account if you don't have one already. Now, make sure you use the link to create a Binance account. Now, it guarantees that you are signing up to the correct website because there is a lot of scam sites outside there pretending to be Binance. And secondly, it helps to um, support the channel because it is my referral link. Now, once you create an account, the next thing you do is to verify the account. You cannot trade on Binance without verifying the account. Now, and when you're done that and you log into your app, this is what you're going to see. But this is not actually what you're going to see if you are signing in for the first time. Now, if I click on the top um, left corner, right you will see that i have binance slide if i switch this to binance slides this is what it is going to show me now so if you create an account for the first time and you don't need the app for the first time this is what you're going to see but i like using the 
Binance Pro, which is what we're going to go back to. So when you switch to Binance Pro, you are going to see this. Now I've done a walkthrough of the Binance app in the past. You should check out that video. But what I want to do in this video is to show you um, two things, which is a trade section and the wallet section. So in the wallet section, Binance had different partition. So I'm on overall, which is the overview rather, which is the overview of um, different wallets. So you have the spots uh, partition of your wallet. So this money you have in the spots section of your wallet is the money you, you want to use to trade in the spot market and we'll come back to that for funding the funding wallet is the money you get in true p2p so when i buy say bitcoin or usdt in the p2p market is going to be in the funding wallet and i can transfer by using this transfer here to transfer from say the spot wallet to the funding wallet to the futures wallet to the margin wallet to transfer between um, each of these wallets and I'm not charged anything for transferring between each of, of these wallets. So if you look at the funding wallet, you see that the, you have a number of coins there and many of them are just fiat currencies, right? So if I go to trade now, right? And I click on, so stay on trade, this on sports, or uh, this corner, the left top corner, you see P2P and that is what I'm gonna click on. And in the P2P section, you can see buy, and sell so let's give it on buy because we want to buy um bitcoin but i don't want to use i can just go here where i have btc to buy bitcoin right but i don't want to do that i want to use a method that you can use to buy any other currency that you want because i can buy bitcoin busd bnb eth uh even die directly right but what i want to do is or the method i like to use is to buy usd first then I can now take it to the spot market and use it to buy any currency that I want to buy. So it's more like if you use this formula, you can apply to buy any other coin that you want to buy. So let's say I want to buy 30,000 naira worth of Bitcoin and I want to buy USDT first. So you see, this is the market I'm talking about. So these are the sellers. The first one is Muse um, CA. And you can see his price is 574. So Binance puts the cheapest price first. And as you go down, it gets more expensive right and what you notice is that this guy that i did do that you see that it has a yellow um check mark here it means that he is verified and he he is more like a binance certified merchant right unlike these other persons but um you, so it's it's actually safer to actually buy it from somebody that is certified but you can actually buy from every other person and I'm actually buy from another person that is not certified, right? But if you look at the first person that is saying at 574, you can see he his limit is between 115,000 to 115,000. Yeah. So if you have if you want to buy less than this amount, you cannot buy from him. So what you can do is to click on this filter here. So the um, right corner has a filter. I can click on it. Then I can enter the amount, the amount I want to spend in Naira. And in this case, I want to spend 30,000 Naira right and i want to do it through bank transfer so i click on bank transfer and so again thirty thousand there and i selected bank transfer and i'll click on confirm so what it's going to do is, is to filter out all the trades that are within that fifty thousand there so look at this person this golden girl uh, you can see that she has completed 411 trades in 30 days which means she's an active merchant, even though she her account is not um, certified to that level. Maybe she's, I don't know why she hasn't done that. So if you want to buy it from a certified merchant, I can actually go down to find one like this um, cash coin global. But let me go ahead and buy. Of course, it's more expensive. This rate is 574.89 and the rate of coin gear is 574.25. Not really, the much difference is not much. So let me go ahead and buy it from Golinger because she has done a lot of trade, which means that she's actually active and um, she's less likely to commit any, any type of fraud. So if you look at beside, you see 98%. This 98% is 89% rather. It's more like um, the the number of trades she has completed with regards to the number of offers she has got. Maybe some of them have been cancelled. So I'll click on buy from her. Oh, this has been updated. Let's see, so trade goes on regularly. So I can click on buy from her. 
right? And um, so I can enter the amount I want either in fear, so I can enter 30,000 naira or by crypto. I can enter the amount in USDT, but of course, it has to be within the amount that she has. So then I go ahead and enter 30,000 naira, right? And I'll click on buy USDT. I only have 15 minutes to complete my transaction. Oh, so I can actually buy from her again because a lot of people have bought her trades and she's no more um, there. So I'm just going to buy from the next person. 130 trades in the past 30 days. I'll buy from um, Crown Worth Digital. So I go ahead and enter 30,000 Naira. Right? And click on Buy USDT. I have to pay this money within 15, 15 minutes. It's right in there. understand all of that so um i can actually go to the chart and click on this and see the instruction please make payment from personal bank that tallies with your binance name so he's saying that i have to make sure that i only make payments from my own bank and not from other person's bank right he might reject the trade if i don't make from my own personal account because um people do fraud with this and he is trying to keep safe as well and he also said please when making payments do don't write anything related to cryptocurrency thanks god bless you so like i said don't write anything related to cryptocurrency when making payment because if you do so um your account will be banned and the account of the person you credited will also be banned so this payment um so i just go ahead and click on make payment he has a couple of banks that can pay, make payment to right so i just let the one that is more convenient for you so i just click on one of them and um you can see um the account number and his name now, I'm, I'm gonna blow this because of course i'm gonna keep his name safe right so i just gonna make the transfer thirty thousand naira to this account then i'll come back and click transferred notify seller so i have made the transfer then i'll click on um transferred notify seller so i have notified the seller so if i click on my order um you can see i can see the order it says that i've paid i can always uh, i'll just wait for the seller to release once he receives the alert now if you're trading on binance p2p for the first time you might not see this um this section this p2p order um ads and profile you can actually let me show you how you can get back to that point now while we are at that i can actually also um chat up the seller right by chatting up and ask and say i've actually made payment um release the money he has 30 minutes left to release i can also call him by clicking this so the, his number is going to come out this is from I've, this is when you enter the chart so that's when you can actually click to call the person say i have made payment please release coin if he's taking a lot of time because he might not actually be online right so you can see if, if you just open your p2p account for the first time you're going to see the menu because i've removed it now to get back to see um the bottom menu for p2p you click on this three dots here right i now select um advertisement mode and click on confirm then you can see this i prefer to have it in this method because I, I can always go to my order and see what's up here now the seller has actually released the fund that is why it's nothing is appearing here all right so if i go to my wallet that's my funding wallet you cannot say i have usdt 52 dollars worth of usdt that is what thirty thousand naira came out to be then like I said, I want to buy Bitcoin. So I'm going to transfer this from my um, funding wallet to Spot Wallet. So it's like this. The coin on transfer is USDT. So I'm going to go ahead and select USDT. Then say $52 is what I want to transfer from my. Um, so if you check the funding wallet right now, you can see what is left is 0 0.2. And if I go back to my Spot Wallet, yes, I have USDT there already. So that's added to become um 163 and let's say i want to purchase bitcoin i go to trade again and now i'm in spot market then this is the bitcoin usdt market so i want to buy 
bitcoin using usdt i can buy other coins let's say i want to buy a coin like um like sand for example you see sand so i want to buy it so i'm going to buy sand with usdt again if you want to select a market just tap on the coin right in the coin pair then search for the coin you want to buy in this case so i want to buy matic again i select matic right so matic usdt i click on it that's the pair i want so in here buy matic this is the price i just enter 52 dollars here so i'm going to get 28 matic so I just click on buy so guys this this has been filled if you want to check my history i can always click here and go to all the history and you see that i've just bought matic 28 um, matic if i go back to my wallet you will see that in here i have 70 matic because i have some matic before so guys this is how you can buy any coin on binance and i can actually transfer my money to an external wallet if i click on this usdt i can withdraw means that i want to send the usdt to another wallet i just put the wallet address here put select network put the amount and I click on withdraw if you want to receive i click on deposit right and select the network i want to receive from and um put out the wallet address and i receive the coin i want to receive so this is how you do this i hope you enjoyed this video now let's get back to the conclusion so this is how you buy bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency in nigeria through binance in 2022 if you have any question let me know in the comment section also join us on telegram we have a community there i can help attend to any question you might have i will leave the link in the description box that said beware of scammers in the comment section I will never ask you to contact me on WhatsApp or anywhere through the comment section. All the contact links are in the description box. Even on Telegram, I will never contact you first or ask you for payment or ask for your private key or password or investment or anything as of such. Again, beware of these scammers. Some of them use my picture and name to scam people this brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it now if you did um and want more videos like this make sure you give this video a like now this is very important because that is the only way youtube know that the video is valuable and shows it to more people that will benefit from it which then encourages me to make more of this type of content also subscribe if you have not i have awesome giveaway when we get to 100,000 subscribers. Also click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of my time sensitive videos. Bye for now. I will see you in the next video.